Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Well, let's find out. Hey, how's it going? What you saw right there was the 8.3 Fire Mage Worldbane build. It juxtaposes the Memory of Lucid Dreams build by having a one minute combustion rather than a two minute combustion. Uh, the gear that you need for it are, you're gonna need three Blaster Master traits, one in your helm, one in your shoulders, one in your chest. You're gonna need as much Masterful as you can get. You preferably have two on-use trinkets, the Ashara's Fauna Power and Corrupted Gladiator's Badge, or maybe a Bellfire Branch. You want everything socketed as much as you can, uh, but not necessary to have the sockets. And you want to have the Hyper Thug Wrist Wraps, like any Fire Mage. In your Essence slots, of course you're going to have World Vane uh, in the Major slot. In your three Minor slots, you're going to want to have Memory of Lucid Dreams to refund Fire Blast Charges. You're going to want to have Vision of Perfection to get this Combustion down to a base, one and a half minute cooldown. And in the third slot, you can actually have either Breath of the Dying or the Formless Void. If you don't have about 20% haste base or so, you're going to want to put the Formless Void in there. Uh, it helps increase your haste a little bit throughout dungeons and, and raids just to make it a little bit smoother. Because if you don't have that 20% haste or so, it feels a little choppy when you're playing and it's tough to keep your Blaster Master stacks up. So that's recommended most of the time. As for talents, there's not too much of a difference from the Lucid build to the World Vane build, but the big difference is you're going to want to switch to Kindling rather than Meteor. Kindling helps get that one and a half minute combustion down to one minute average. So, so while you're playing, your Fireballs will be procking, your Pyro Blasts, and your Fire Blasts, of course, always proc. So you're going to want to get that combustion window down to a one minute instead of one and a half using that. So your single target and multi-target rotation are going to be the exact same, except whenever it's a multi-target scenario, you're going to want to perform your rotation on the highest health target, unless if there's a priority target, then perform it on that. But it's very fast paced, so I'm gonna slow it down for you here in a second and show you exactly what you're gonna to have to do. So first, you're gonna to wanna to queue up your Azerite Essence, World Vane. Then you wanna put a Rune of Power down right after. Following that, you're going to queue up a Scorch then Fire Blast to get a proc, and then Combust, and make sure to use your Gladiator's Badge, and then you're going to want to start Pyro Blasting, Fire Blast, Pyro Blast, Fire Blast, and then after the Fire Blast, do your Hyper Thread Wrist Wraps to get some charges back, and then keep going. Notice that I keep my Blaster Master stacks the entire time. It's shown by that little gopher icon down there. That is what is most important. You never want to lose that. One more time, we'll go through that rotation because it's a lot to unpack in 10 seconds. Remember, World Vane, Rune of Power. You're going to queue up the Scorch after this Rune of Power. Then you're going to Fire Blast and Combustion while the Scorch is casting so that when it's done casting, it crits. And you get the double crit and can continue Pyro Blast and Fire Blast. If you look at that gopher that I'm highlighting right there, that is my blaster master stacks and the cooldown on it right and i never let it drop you need to have that because that is necessary to keep your mastery super high and mastery equals aoe damage so what you just saw was the big combustion with all of the on uses all of my abilities all my trinkets this is going to be the every other minute combustion right in between the two big combustions this is the small mini combustion and it's just going to have rune of power and world main but as I slow down here, watch the Blaster Master stacks and watch how I'm able to keep them up for a majority of the combustion. That is what the key to this combustion is and what makes this so viable. The Sims do this perfectly, that's why this is a little bit harder. You have to keep those Blaster Master stacks up for a, at least 90% of this. You can do it the full time. If you go in, I only went into it with two Blaster Master, or two Fire Blast charges, if you, I'm going to replay it for you real quick, uh, in slow-mo again. Look, I only go into it with two Fire Blast charges, but I'm still able to keep those Blaster Master stacks up for a majority of the combustion. That allows you, uh, on a, a like four pack, you can do like 300k with that combustion, easily. Just make sure to keep those Blaster Master stacks up. You're going to have to weave Scorches. Your, your, after your first Pyro, you might have to Scorch and then Fire Blast in between. That's what the Haste helps you with. That's what the Haste helps you with. Alright, 
So now that you've seen what this build has to offer for both single target and multi target, and you know what you need to execute this build properly, uh, I'm going to show you what really the difference is and why it can be better in certain situations than the Lucid build that is, of course. So let me show you my own Sims, actually. I have them right here. So my four target patchwork for five minutes has me simming in this Worldane build, the one minute combustion build, at 306k DPS, which is like, you know, that is insane. There's no other classes currently that can even get close to those sims, I believe. Possibly Beastmaster, maybe. Um, whereas the Memory Lucid Dreams build sims slightly lower than that, which which in and of itself is, is kind of crazy that you can get even more DPS AoE as a Fire Mage in 8.3. Now, that is very close, I agree, but what actually comes of that, right, is that this build, the Memory of Lucid Dreams build, tries to fit all that AoE into, like, two-minute windows, whereas this spreads it out between two one-minute windows every two minutes, right? So you get two combustions every time this build gets one combustion, and that ends up realistically coming out to more DPS in most AoE scenarios as stuff just dies too quickly with the Memory of Lucid Dreams build. So let me show you the top parses for different fights in Nihilotha. What you will see is that a lot of the top parses on single target fights are going to be Memory of Lucid Dreams because this does sim very slightly ahead of the Worldbane build. So when we check these fights, check and see if the fight is a single target fight or an AoE fight and then check to see the essences. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah, 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 the uh, build that they're using. So if they're using Meteor, that means they're using Memory of Lucid Dreams. And if they're using uh, Kindling, that means they're gonna be using World Bane. So when you check Rathion, Rathion's completely single target. Completely single target fight. They're gonna be using Memory of Lucid Dreams right there. Yep, all the top parts is using Memory of Lucid Dreams. Mott, they're using, uh, where is it? They're using World Bane here, but that's because of kill times. And uh, with a 150 kill time, you don't get a second combust in if you're using Memory of Lucid Dreams. So World Bane is going to be best there because you get two combustions in. Now, Skitra, also that is single target. So you see that this even is viable in single target. It, it's literally all of the top logs, top 10 logs right here. Uh, Skitra is a little different. Uh, Skitra logs, you don't really count because the logging is messed up for them. Zanesh is all memory of lucid dreams, but that's because of the way that the ads come out. It happens to work out really well for the timing of the ads. Now, Hive Mind's going to be mostly World Vein because at two minutes, or at, sorry, at one minute, the first set of ads spawn, and then at a minute, in like, I don't know, maybe a little bit less than a minute, the second set of ads spawn, and it just makes for like insane AoE damage. It's, it's wild. It is wild playing it on there. I did 300k uh, the one week playing it on there. Now, where are we? Shadar, Shadar single target, but still, even single target, World Bane's able to compete with the top Memory of Lucid Dreams builds. Uh, Drustigath, if you want boss damage, you'd play it, but most people don't care about boss damage. They pad on here. Uh, that's why Memory of Lucid Dreams is there. Vexionas, an ad fight, all, all World Bane. Rodan, the ads line up perfectly with World Bane. Actually, I played this even on progress. Nah, where are we? Ilganoth. Uh, Ilganoth's a little weird with timing, so you'll see both. Carapace, almost all world vein. And then Nizoth, you see a little bit of both. Uh, I play Memory of Lucid Dreams on Nizoth just for like the extra, I don't know, the timing seemed to line up well with what I need. So now uh, that you've seen that Raid is pretty viable to use world vein in, uh, it just depends on the fight, which one you'll want to use. It, it, what it really shines in, in my opinion, is Mythic Plus. So I'm gonna go to, let's say, Freehold, probably. Freehold. So what I used to think was like, whenever this build first came out, right? I was like, oh, I'll try it out. But for most of the routes, I always had known exactly what I was going to combust with the two minute build. And I thought it was gonna mess up. I was like, oh, well, what the heck am I gonna use my second, like smaller combustion on, right? But whenever you start looking at the routes, they actually, Almost all of them kind of line up perfectly, and you'll have a combustion for almost every pool. You might miss one or two or a couple here and there if you're pulling fast. But uh, it's the higher keys, right? Like, I've done a freehold on, on 23. Yeah, I've done a uh, 23 freehold. It's a 22 junkie, yeah. Um, so, like, at these higher keys, oh, 
your big busts still do as much damage as a big bust normally does with like lucid right but the smaller busts are really helpful for certain things so like if we outline how the combustor are going to go in this freehold you'll see that your big bust will of course go on the first three pack that everybody loves to do with uh what is it heroism you do all these with hero you do like you know one mil damage or something and then by the time it's done your combust is already up again for when you go into this obelisk right let's take it where it at where the heck it actually is supposed to go to so you come into the obelisk you have your mini combustion you combust the blood and then it spreads to all the eyes right and that allows you to do a lot of damage even like you'll do like what a mil here you'll do probably 300 400k just on this eye spreading around and by the time you get over here for this four pack the big bust is back up so like normally with memory of lucid dreams you would combust here you wouldn't combust with this and then you would combust this before the boss right well with world vein you combust this you small combust this you combust this and then you small combust the boss and if you're slow which you probably will be around that yeah, around 20, 30, you definitely get two or three combusts on Sky Off and Craig. And then it, it's just like, it works out so perfectly for so many dungeons. The only ones that I would say to not play World Vane in are probably Mechagon Workshop and maybe King's Rest, maybe. But even on King's Rest, once you finish the first boss area, right? You'll have a combust up for this pack, for sure, right? You'll have a combust up for one, at least one of these two packs. And then you'll have a combust up for like three out of four of these rather than like two and then two over here so it works out really really well for mythic plus timings that's why this build is so popular now and if you look at most of the top fire mages they will be playing this world vein build and that's why you should as well well thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully learned something as well um, definitely give this a try. If you do Mythic Plus and you're a Fire Mage, you're in an incredible spot right now. 8.3 is, is the best, best time to be a Fire Mage, seriously. And this build is by far the best build for Fire Mages, this patch. Give it a shot. You will not regret it. If you have any questions, uh, give me a message in Discord. Send me a pist or whatever. And if I'm not available... Don't be afraid to ask the Mage Discord. There's a question section there, and they're very helpful, usually. Most players are. Also, if you liked the video, subscribe. Give me a like. If you didn't like the video, send me some feedback. Message me on Discord. Tell me what you think I could change. Uh, I'd appreciate it all. Anyway, thank you, and have a good one.